thefootballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our collegesportingnews.com game of the week preview between the Eastern Illinois Panthers and the Illinois State Redbirds. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams starting with the Redbirds. The Redbirds have a very good offensive attack. Two weeks ago versus Ball State, they were both explosive and efficient, and they maximized their opportunities in the red zone. This week versus Eastern Illinois, they'll have to do a better job of getting the ground game going. A one-dimensional offense is something that you don't want to have. Now defensively, they'll have to get pressure from within and contain Garoppolo in the pocket because once he gets outside, he can cause problems, and that's how they're able to hit big plays downfield. Now let's move over to Eastern Illinois in this ball game, and I've been most impressed with how well they are able to run the football, and that's a testament to that offensive line. We already know about their big play passing game with quarterback Jimmy Garoppolo and wide receiver Eric Laura, but so far this season you look at running back Taylor Duncan and Shepard Little, they have looked outstanding. That defensive line has also been impressive, living behind the line of scrimmage, 21 and a half TFLs, and keep an eye on linebacker Adam Gristick. This is the guy that could push for all conference honors if he keeps up this level of play. Now here are some coaching points for both teams in this matchup for Illinois State. Their third down defense has to improve. Two weeks ago versus Ball State, they struggled to get off the field defensively and we know this is a much better defensive football team. And they also have to continue to spread the field on offense. This is a team that does a great job of expanding your coverage responsibilities on defense and attacking the individual matchups. And you're going to have to alternate which side you want to roll your coverage to. Sometimes you want to keep an extra player over top of Eric Laura, and other times you want to keep that safety over top of Keandre Gobu, who's an outstanding sophomore receiver. For Eastern Illinois, they have to play the run on the way to the quarterback. Until Illinois State proves they can run the football, just go aggressive in your pressure packages, and they have to continue to have that balance offensively. They do a great job running, and we know about their explosive passing attack, and their special teams have been excellent all season long. Continue to win in every aspect of the game, and it gives you a great chance to come away victorious. The X Factor for Illinois State will be the defensive effort, and you can tell that in the first quarter. If they come out ready to play defensively, we know their offense has enough firepower to put up points. The X Factor for Eastern Illinois will be wide receiver Keandre Gober. I'm pretty sure Illinois State will come in and try to take away Eric Laura, so Gober will see his fair share of opportunities. It's up to him to cash in. Now here are some 2014 draft prospects you want to look out for in this ball game. Look at Illinois State's linebacker, Colton Underwood. Outstanding pass rushing presence, 6'4", 255 pounds. This is an excellent linebacker at the FCS level. And Josh Eldenoy, here's a guy that's a former Oklahoma transfer, mammoth offensive tackle with the movement skills of a guard. And for Eastern Illinois, we've talked ad nauseum about Eric Laura and Jimmy Garoppolo, both outstanding players for the Panthers. And both guys, in my opinion, have bright NFL futures. Laurent Robinson was a two-time first-team All-Missouri Valley Conference performer in 2005 as well as in 2006. Finished his Redbird career with over 3,000 yards receiving, and in 2006 he also was a first-team All-American. Before he became a Super Bowl winning head coach for the New Orleans Saints, Sean Payton was an outstanding quarterback for Eastern Illinois, quarterback the football team from 1983 to 1986, in which the offense was called Eastern Airlines. I like Eastern Illinois in this ball game. They're potent at the receiver position from both Laura as well as Gober. You can't take one guy away because the other guy is just as good. And defensively, I think they do a great job of slowing down what Illinois State wants to do offensively. Look for the Panthers to win this year's battle in the Mid-America Classic.